Hello everybody and welcome back, John Stealth here, and today we're going to talk about Luckier and why Luckier is probably one of the best type of um, armor sets that you could probably be wearing right now. Um, just my personal opinion, just this is like going to really like one, like have a balance between everything. You get money, you get gear, um, you also do pretty decent DPS if you can find the right perfect ones like right now my guy does a lot so you can see that helm i got um took me like only like 10 or 20 minutes i was just doing malevolence or something like that just outside of the temple and just gathering gears some of these gears are actually worth quite a bit but i'm just getting rid of them just because i don't have enough sp uh, spots just to sell them on the auction house so um, i'm only keeping the best of the items that will sell very easily so right now you can check out all my luck gear this uh, is ideal uh, type of gear to get if you want to be a dps like i'm a bow and a spear so any type of dps you want to go with dexterity for sure like for especially for bows and then you want to also go with strength because spear um, balances out with strength and then you can also see all my bags are luck all my rings are luck like everything's luck and then i went with full dexterity full dexterity and i put luck on it on those items and then i most importantly is tools make sure you read the tools yield and luck is the ones that you want to go for because they are the most expensive the most hardest to craft and they give you the most amount of resources for rare resources so i get a lot of rare resources with that so make sure you also try to get tier five if you can because that's really going to help you out in getting so much more gear so um yeah like just doing about 20 minutes of a run i have gotten pretty much just like all those items that you can kind of see in my bag except for the cooking and some of the other stuff as well so i'm just going to show you where i was i was just in there uh just going just farming around i had no idea where to I, uh, even go in that place so i was just doing it for like 20 or 30 minutes i didn't die till like the very end because i kind of just wanted to go back to town so i just went and died and then went back to town but i didn't see as many chests as i thought i would but it's a little bit tricky going around there because there's some really fast guys and whatnot so um right now i'm just going to show you how much money i could technically make so this is all the luck gear what the luck brought me so all of that stuff is a lot of coin that you can sell for so if you really wanted to make a really quick coin you could technically sell all that stuff for a little bit cheaper and then make your money right away this I left click on that and then I can compare the two weapons. So what you need to start looking for is like something that gives you dexterity, something that has a socket. Like this would be really good for like my character. Um, the gear score is a little bit, quite a bit lower, but it has crit and crit's very important for um, uh, dealing more damage so you could farm better. So I'm almost tempted to go with this spec and just get something with less gear score, but has crit. So then I could take out the enemies a lot quicker. I haven't really seen too many good spears on the auction house right now. So, but yeah, anyways, we're just going to go see all the stuff that's uh, purple and um, orange, the legendaries. That's all because I had luck gear and it just really helps out with when you're having uh, luck and whatnot. It also get a lot of recipes doing it this way as well. So yeah, there's pretty much all of that. And then I'm going to go show you a little bit of like how much I actually made just like in a few minutes. So lately I had two really like actually very kind of rare mats. So the uh, recipes, those two are actually very, very rare to actually find. And that was like almost like about like seven grand worth almost, you know, of just like gold, just like somebody decided to buy it pretty quickly. I did have them for five grand each. So um, a little bit steep for the kind of economy right now so i decided to sell a little bit cheaper but you know what i'd rather get rid of it because i don't have that high of cooking or furnishing and stuff like that so if you have something that's a little bit too high out of your skill reach like say if that was like a weapon stuff like i'm like only like 50 it's better just to sell it make that gold and buy better gear you know and better buy better luck gear so that's what i recommend right now i'm just showing you all the landmarks when i'm marking um in even scale is a place where you can find a lot of schematics and recipes so make sure you go to those places and farm those areas because they especially this one the sky temple is very very good for finding you know, very good rare um, schematics because it is 59 almost 60 so you can find really good items at that area so yeah um, that's pretty much it that I wanted to go over and whatnot so like I do recommend you guys try to get luck because you'll make so much more gold like those two items right there i'm just going to type it out i'll show you guys how much gold that's actually worth in 
um, Brightwood that's worth like 500 gold, but ideal is like about 200 gold. So that's already like about 250. So it's like almost 500 gold just for grabbing two items in less than 20 minutes. It's already 500 gold. Um, I wouldn't be able to find that if I didn't have such high luck gear. And normally if I didn't have such high luck gear, it'll take me forever to usually find stuff like that. So it's good just to have that and just get that out of the way. But yeah, um, that is pretty much all I'm going to talk about with the luck gear. Uh, comment below what you guys liked about the video or comment what you like to see in the future videos um, If you guys like the video like and subscribe and also share it if you guys dislike it dislike it and but Yeah, lastly, I'll see you guys in the next video